Hey guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Um, the situation and the obstacles in your way and the outcome <clears throat> excuse me, of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So it could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with to flip flop it how you need to. Um, also, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. Alright, Aries, let's get it. Immediate future. Thank you, thank you. All right, Aries, something's going on with you. I'm not sure, but you're really guarded, or the person you're dealing with is. Um, we have the four of wands, so it's like this is something, either a connection, a commitment, or something like around your home life, because somebody is with the nine of wands and the seven of wands. Um, shoot, shoot. Um, there's something... Somebody is just, like, completely guarded. And I think you're kind of mirroring each other's energy here. Kind of trying to just not... Um, there's some anger around. It's like some pissed off or just hurt. Probably is the underlying reason. Thank you. Could be dealing with the Taurus. This could be a marriage here. The King of Wands is, like, a married man um, in the Hierophant. So it definitely could be something like that. Um... I don't know. Hold on. Tell me about this higher friend. You could just be dealing with a Taurus. Alright. So, you do have feelings for this person. Um, there's your energy here. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or it could just be somebody that you have a lot of feelings for. Um, it's like somebody is wanting to talk here. There has been some type of communication. It could have been, you know, about something more serious. It could have been... Um, Somebody is just wanting to talk, wanting to move forward. This is your energy here. You definitely could be dealing with a cancer, but somebody could be traveling or wanting to move here and there could be communication about that. But for some reason, you got to guard up. I'm not sure why, um, but I feel like you're wanting to move forward here. You're wanting to talk to this person. Um, I'm not sure with the nine of wands, that's, that's a guard. Like you're, you're kind of protecting yourself here, possibly against this person, um, but it's also like, you know, there's been some shit that's been going on. So now it's like you're just tired and wore out. But somebody wants to talk. There is communication here with the nine of wands. Oh, sorry, with the eight of wands. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody is not expressing or it could be dealing with the Pisces. But it's like somebody is wanting to start something new here. Somebody could have had options or just a lot of shit going on. Show me this four of wands, please. For Aries. Too many to take, but damn. Yeah, there definitely could have been like a breakup between you guys. Because I've just seen the ten of swords. I can't pick that many cards. But could be dealing with a Virgo. But it's, it's definitely, somebody is kind of holding back here or, you know, just kind of doing a lot of soul searching right now. If you're not dealing with a Virgo, I just seen the moon again. So it's like somebody is, is kind of holding back here, how they're truly feeling. I think they're kind of just in think mode right now. Shit. Yeah. It's like possibly somebody is, is feeling like um, just working on their selves here with the nine of pentacles, like working on their stability, their foundations. Um but definitely it's like somebody there possibly could have been communication here in the past but somebody is completely closed off like more so focused on their selves and their money right now it feels like we had the will of fortune just pop out um so some something is trying to move forward here because uh we do have a tower moment here for the outcome show me this tower for aries please this is something that kind of shakes this foundation so if it wasn't that strong to begin with, then it's, it's either going to fall or it's going to get better. But it's going to change with the tower there. Yeah. All right. So um, somebody is possibly like having an ego here, being a little stubborn, a little hard-headed here. 
um, they do have their back turned towards this or you, I mean, this could be you, but it's like with the six of swords and the five of swords, this is like a stubborn, hard headed injury energy. And with the, um, king of wands, he can kind of be egotistical. So there could be some ego involved here, but it's like somebody is, 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 is still like having a guard up and it's, their backs towards this, or they could, you could be walking away from this person. But I feel like it's more kind of um, somebody kind of just being really stubborn here. Um, I mean, just to put it bluntly. Because this King of Wands can definitely be that way. He can be like quick tempered. He can be kind of selfish. I mean, it can go either way. And I'm not saying that's what's going on. You know, it's a general reading. I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, you definitely could be dealing with the Pisces, but somebody is all up in their head. They're trying to make this happen. Um, or trying to make something happen, but I'm not sure that they're telling you. Um, because of this eight of swords, this is a lot of like overthinking and so somebody is not really thinking clearly here. All right, Aries, this is what I have for you guys. Hope this helps. Hope this resonates. Um, if so, please like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.